Now in this video I'm going to show you how to create some custom sounds and that is uh, converting existing files that you might have if you've recorded a file, uh, where to download some files from movies and so forth that you might want to use uh, and also how to use OpenTX Speaker uh, which allows you to generate voice files that you can then use anywhere in your Flysky Nirvana or OpenTX Transmitter. Uh, I'll also show you some of the tools I use like Audacity to convert files uh, from a non-compatible format to a compatible format and what the settings are that you need to, to convert those across. Uh, I'll put a link to the Amber sound file directory in the description, uh, which is a very commonly used uh, sound file library, let's say, uh, and also how to uh, set up your system files. So in previous videos, I, I showed you how to associate sounds with functions and switches, uh, but this is more about creating sounds, but also how you can change your system sound files, things like Welcome to OpenTX when you first fire up your Nirvana. I'll start off by showing you how to generate your own voice files using OpenTX Speaker. An OpenTX speaker uses uh, your own PC's TTS functionality, which is the text-to-speech functionality. So whatever TTS setups you have on your PC, it's going to leverage those voices to generate these sounds. I've added a link to the OpenTX download page uh, in the description. Uh, and then once you get to that page, it's simply a matter of clicking download link and you'll see that it will uh, download this uh, zip file over here. When you unzip that particular file, uh, you'll find the following. So I've restructured this a little bit. You'll get this OpenTX Speak application. You'll also get a sounds library in there, uh, which has the English option there, and then you'll have all your sounds as per your SD card. Uh, so you can use these sounds. It gives you some sounds uh, in here, um, but really this is all about generating custom sounds. So jumping back here, let's run the application and takes about three seconds, here we go. And I'll just minimize these. So the first thing you want to do, is simply click on new sentence, uh, give the file a new name. So in this case here, we're going to call it uh, voice test. And in fact, what I might do is prefix it with an A. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is when you actually go to find this file on your Flysky Nirvana, it appears near the top. Uh, so maybe find a prefix that works for you. I'm going to use A, that way I don't have to scroll down a whole library of sounds to get to the one that I want to use. Uh, so I'll prefix that with A, uh, and we'll call this A voice. Uh, in the description, uh, any description to obviously describe the file, it's, it's trivial, it doesn't really perform any functions, it just helps you find that uh, a little bit easier. So in this case here, we'll just call it a test voice. Uh, and then the new voice message, uh, we can call this anything we like, or in fact, this is this is what we type in to get the sound that we want. Uh, so in this case here, let's call it, well, let's go for the sound, welcome to open TX Nirvana. Uh, and we'll play that sentence. Welcome, welcome to open TX, TX Nirvana. And in doing so, what we also want to do here is adjust the volume. It's important to note that this first chunk here is what is kind of a preview setting. And the second widget or window here is how the file actually gets recorded. So you may apply some of these settings, the rate and the volume on this side. Uh, and when you go to create the file, they won't apply. You need to reapply them down the bottom here as well. So the first thing you want to do is turn the volume right up because the way it generates the file is not loud enough. So both on the preview and on the actual file creation or voice file tab, uh, bump that right up. We'll play that again. Welcome to OpenTX Nirvana. Uh, and let's make that a little bit faster. So we'll bump that up to two. Welcome to OpenTX Nirvana. Maybe a little bit slower. Minus two. Welcome to OpenTX Nirvana. And we can switch the TTS file, the local TTS file, or the voice. Welcome to Open TX Nirvana. And that's way too slow. I think it's still playing the file. Here we go. We'll bump that up to two again. Welcome to Open TX Nirvana. For the point of this, I'm going to leave it there. I'll make this setting exactly the same as above, uh, and leave it at 16K. Uh, and create that voice file or generate that voice file. Then what that will do, once that's creating there, that should be done. You should be able to find that in the list here. Now we called it a voice, so let's scroll down to A, and this is exactly as it will appear uh, in the actual library once you jump onto your Nirvana. I'm 
in this case here it's down the bottom. Uh, then when we go onto our right screen, go into sounds and English, uh, if I just go to A, you'll find it there. So if I play that, that's the file that uh, we've just created. Now, I have another video where I explain how we can call upon these sounds within our um, the Fly Sky Nirvana within um, the actual transmitter settings there as well. I'm not going to cover that off in this video, but what I will say is you also want to uh, drop this particular file uh, onto your SD card. So on the left hand side, this is my SD card. Under sounds in English, if I take that A voice sound and just copy it across to my SD card, it's now available to me when I jump into my Nirvana. So that's how we, we generate just simple voice files. Uh, I'll, I'll play all these sounds on the Nirvana at the end of the video so you can see how they sound and how they work. Uh, and now I'll move on to the next bit. Okay, for this next segment, I'm going to show you how to convert an existing sound file of just about any type into one that's compatible with your transmitter. Uh, it will work for any OpenTX transmitter. The focus here is obviously FlySky Nirvana. Uh, in this case here, I've already typed in Austin Powers. Uh, I'll search for an Austin Powers sound file. Uh, there's one that I have in mind. So here I'm presented with a few different, let's say, libraries of sounds. I'll simply select the first one uh, and then here we go. I'll go for yeah, baby. I'll play. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and for the purpose of this exercise, I'll show you how to have this as your introduction sound on your fly sky Nirvana. So when you power it on, uh, when I cover off uh, system sounds and so forth in the next segment, uh, still in this video. So we select download. It will take you to another screen here again. Uh, yes, I've been shopping for ink. Lucky it's ink and not something else. Um, scrolling down, then we simply click download sound and you'll find there it is as an mp3. Uh, once we've got that, I'll move that particular file into my working directory uh, and show you what to do next. Now that you have a sound file that you wish to use on your transmitter, you need a tool to convert that to a, an appropriate format so that uh, any OpenTX transmitter can use it. But again, the focus here is FlySky Nevada. Uh, I use Audacity, it's quite popular, it's free, it's easy to use, and it does exactly what we need it to do uh, to get a file um, compatible with your transmitter. You might have your own sound software that you're more familiar with that you feel you may not need to download anymore um, and the core principles I'll show you with this will be the same for that you know the basic settings that you need to make the file compatible. So I've placed a link in the description to Audacity again it's free uh, there's no uh, bad ads or anything like that. Uh, I downloaded the Windows installer uh, there are a few different versions here uh, don't click on this thing here. Uh, they're always trying to say something on these pages. Um, in this case here, it just downloads a zip file. You can see there. Uh, once you've run that particular zip file, then Audacity itself looks like this. Okay, so let's open our file. Uh, in this case here, I saved my file in the OpenTX speaker location, but um, you might just want to go straight to downloads, which is where um, the previous website I showed you would, would download the file to. Uh, let's open that file uh, and you'll see by default to open in stereo. Uh, so there's a couple of things that we need to do. Firstly, this project rate, drop it down to 16,000. Uh, I think in some cases it does work at a higher rate, but 16,000 uh, works pretty much every time. Uh, the next thing we want to do is convert it from stereo to mono. And to convert it to mono, if I select the file name here, uh, then I can split stereo to mono, and I just delete the second one. Uh, there may be a better way of doing it, but that works. Uh, and then from there, let's just export it. So we'll export that. We want to export it as a WAV file or a WAV file. Uh, make sure it's in 16-bit here as well. Uh, and then over here, let's call it yeah, baby test in this case, uh, because we're going to do some things with it shortly as well. Click OK. And that's it. Uh, there are some other things that you can do here. You can actually uh, cut down or crop, I should say, the sound. So if you do have your own custom sounds or if you have something that you've recorded that you want to crop out some sounds, uh, you can perform some other functions here. But again, purpose of this is really just to show you how to convert a file so we can use it in OpenTX. 
So in this last section, I'll show you how to use uh, sounds that you've created uh, or any sounds really that you might have in your general sound library and how you use those as system sounds as opposed to standard sounds that you might call upon that I've covered off in a previous video. So on the left hand side, I have my Nirvana uh, SD card, in which case I'll click on sounds and then English and you'll find these are all the sounds that you can assign to switches and that you can call upon and you can use uh, in, in general usage uh, but it's the system files that we want and these are the files that are really your default so when you switch on your Nirvana that welcome to OpenTX file uh, some of those sounds there your low telemetry warnings and things of those that nature um, just as a quick reference I've put together here you'll find uh, some of the common sound files so your telemetry warning sounds inactivity trim centered welcome to OpenTX so on and so forth I'll put this in the uh, description just for an easy reference guide these are probably the main ones that I would want to change um, but again it's a case of probably going through each of these and hearing what it sounds like and, and so if I click on that and just wait for the application. Radio okay. antenna defective. Again, again, one that I'll probably never use, uh, but just go through the sounds in the system directory to see which ones that you want to use. Uh, I'll minimize that. Now for the purpose of this, I want to use my Austin Powers sounds as my intro, just by way of example, don't judge me. Uh, so the intro file, going back here uh, is hello so that's my welcome tx currently uh, file so i'll minimize that uh, and i'll just find hello over here um, and i've done this before so again just rename hello in case you stuff anything up rename it to hello backup uh, and then on the right hand side where i've got my recently generated file i'm going to uh, i might actually create a copy of that and just paste it in there uh, just so I have a backup of that one as well. I'll rename that to hello. Yep, and we'll replace the existing one there. Make sure that's the right file. Yeah, baby! <laughs> that's the one. And we'll just drag that across into our SD backup in the system file and we'll replace the file in the destination. And that's it. I'll quickly demo what that looks like or sounds like. All right, let's see if that worked. Yeah, baby! <laughs> All right, that's it. Now, you, oops, you might find that if you've done something incorrectly, uh, the sound will play very, very slowly. And typically that's a, a consequence of not having converted from stereo to mono. Uh, but that's it. So if you have got a problem with that, if it is playing slowly, go back to Audacity and convert from stereo to mono. And that should be it. I hope you found the video useful. I did mention uh, earlier in the video that I would show you what the uh, sounds that I created through OpenTX speaker sounded like. Uh, so I've just associated that with a switch. Welcome to OpenTX Nirvana. So uh, I used the Yeah Baby as my intro. That would have been the more appropriate one, but you'd get the drift. Uh, in a previous video, I also talked about comparing different modules on the Nirvana. So completely unrelated to sounds, but very briefly, I now have three modules. I have the XJT, the URAV uh, multi-protocol TMX5, I think it's called, uh, and the jumper, the this jumper, not the SE jumper, I think you can see that there, the one with the little dial at the bottom there. All three work, but I've had all issues with all three. Uh, I want to troubleshoot them. I don't want to put out a video unless I've nailed the problems I'm having so I can share that experience with you. Uh, I'll leave it there. Thank you and look out for more videos. Thank you.